Hey everybody, JD here with another Gray Man Urban Survival Topic Online. And today I want to talk to you about the haversack made by Malcolm Codier at The Hidden Woodsman and why I think this is the ultimate Gray Man style man purse slash EDC medical bag that you can buy on the market today. So one of my hobbies is I'm a Civil War reenactor. You can laugh at that, I don't mind. Um, but one of the most important part of our uniform is the haversack looks much like this. This is just a modern version, but the functionality is pretty much the same. In the Civil War, the soldiers would use it to carry their food rations, some extra ammunition, and some small personal effects, like a pipe or a picture of a loved one. Now, like the prepared people you are, I'm sure you have a bug out bag, or more importantly, a get home bag that you carry with you every day. Um, you might leave it in your trunk, Maybe you take it into work with you every day. And I'm sure that thing's packed full of all the latest and greatest survival items. But do you really need to carry those kind of things with you at all times? Do you really need to have the biggest, baddest knife or the biggest water filter or a camp stove? You know, I, I can't think of any scenario where you would need that sort of thing. But one thing that can happen is somebody around you slips, falls, maybe they uh, sh sprain their ankle, they break their leg, maybe they get a cut in their head and they are bleeding everywhere. Now that's a real emergency. I mean, it's okay to think of the shit hit the fan sort of scenarios, but when there's something going on, you need to act quickly in order to save a person's life. That's where this, as a medical bag, comes in perfectly. So this haversack is much smaller than a backpack, um, lighter weight, however it's still made out of 1000 denier uh, cordura, double walled, built like a tank. If you can destroy this in your everyday carry scenario, I would be highly surprised. It has a very thick strap, um, very wide, sits on the shoulder very nicely. Uh, I actually just got back from a 10 mile hike uh, throughout the city and had this on the whole time, didn't even notice it. It's very comfortable. It has a very large strap that you can roll up and actually has a keeper on it, this little Velcro keeper. So you can roll up your extra slack if you want to. Um, has double buckle closure. It has some molly strapping on the side. A uh, little two set here, two set there. I have a Rothko lightweight water bottle carrier coming, so that'll allow me to have a Nalgene on the side, which I think is just a great idea. Um, you open it up, it has this little Velcro panel here that you can put whatever patch you want on there. Um, I put some shock cord through this zipper pull just, just because I wanted to, makes it easier to open this. Um, zipper slides open very easily as is, but I just like having that extra uh, shock cord there. Um, very deep panel, uh, can hold a lot of stuff here. Very good construction on the zipper. All the sewing on here is just phenomenal. I, I haven't found a loose stitch yet. Um, right behind the zipper panel, there's a secondary uh, little sleeve here that you can put some stuff. It has these two flap closures for the main pouch that Velcro together to kind of keep everything from falling out. On the inside you have high-vis material. Very deep, very easy to get to whatever you need. The back actually is another section that you can put things. So overall this is a very, very wonderful bag for a medical kit, like a trauma kit. And some of the stuff that I usually carry in here is um, things like, you know, a soft tea tourniquet, um, quick clot, you know, clotting sponge. Uh, I usually carry a few different Israeli bandages. Uh, you may wonder why it's out of the sterile packaging. That's because I really don't care about sterility if I'm bleeding out or you know friend or family or someone around me is has a heavy 
blood loss going on. I'd rather stop the bleeding and then worry about that later. You can always take care of that with antibiotics. Um, I have a six inch one here. I have a four inch one I carry with me. Um, one thing I also carry is a little package full of salt and sugar packets. And the reason I do that is just in case you happen to come across somebody who is suffering from dehydration. You can make some oral rehydration, rehydration solution with that. Um, it's another reason why I want to keep the Nalgene bottle with me at all times. Um, yeah, I mean, there's just tons of medical stuff that you can pack in this bag. And this is just very basic. Um, you know, you can add so much stuff in there because it's so spacious. And with the flaps on the inside, nothing's going to fall out. You have the zippered section. And this is like the perfect bag. Um, I usually keep a Shugmog in there. Depending on how I feel during that day, you know, I can throw in the black one. I can throw in green and black, white and black, custom colored one. Um, you know, I mean, it, it's super versatile. You don't even need to have this as a straight medical kit. You can have just a basic medical supplies, and then you can have some other stuff in there. I mean, it, it's, you know, a haversack is a possibles bag. It's kind of like a man purse. Throw whatever you want in there. There's plenty of room to organize. Um, it's just a great pack. I, I, I really can't speak highly enough of what Malcolm has made here. He has awesome backpacks too, from what I can tell. I don't have one, unfortunately. A um, little pricey for me, but with this uh, haversack, you know, I carry this every day now, wherever I go. And just to have that sense of mind that if something happens, I can take care of it. That to me is more important than buying the next greatest knife with the latest super metal or getting, you know, just the best headlamp out there or whatever. You know, I mean, you can put a flashlight in here, sure. I highly suggest you do. But to have a very thorough medical kit, you know, throw some SAM splints in there, you know, stuff like that. Like, just try to think of everything that you can and have the knowledge to use your kit and everything that's inside. Um, I have some hyphen chest seals coming in just in case somebody, you know, has a collapsed lung. I can take care of that. Um, I know how to do it. I was trained how to do that in when I worked in pharmacy. Don't ask me why they did that, but I, it's just, you know, it's another skill set and probably one of the most important skill sets you can have. I mean, having a knife, razor sharp, yeah, that's cool. But to be able to save your life, your family's life, it's just, you know, that's, that's immeasurable. So, like I said, this is just the ultimate pack that I can find online. The construction, fantastic, again. It's the Hidden Woodsman Haversack, made by Malcolm Kadir. Um, you can find him on Instagram. I'm sure he has a Facebook. I don't have one, so I couldn't tell you. Um, but the guy is just very personable. Uh, every message I've sent to him, he's replied back on Instagram. We have a shared connection. I'm not going to say what it is, but you know, there you go. Um, yeah, just a very personal guy. The price is right for the construction on these things. It's all made in the USA. Um, these things run about 95 bucks. This is the Marshall Gray version. It's pretty much the Gray Man version of this particular pack. He also has various camos, um, Cryptech, and you know OD Green, and you know he has ATAX law enforcement uh, versions. And you know just check them out, thehiddenwoodsman.com, and give them some love. So before you guys leave, go ahead and hit that like, share, and subscribe buttons. I'd really appreciate that. It helps me out a lot. Uh, trying to grow the channel, get my name out there. Um, got some gear reviews coming up. Have some ideas planned. And once again, the Hidden Woodsman, Malcolm Codier. They definitely know how to do it with gusto.